Hey guys and welcome back. I'm actually having a semi-slow warning this morning, which is so nice because I've decided since the wedding is finished, I really feel like I've started a new chapter. I think when we were planning the wedding and all the hiccups that we had with it, I couldn't really focus on work and life. And now that it's so over actually, I'll be honest, I kind of feel relieved. I feel really excited for this next phase where I can just concentrate a little bit more on, I guess, like me and my job again, which feels really nice. So I'm gonna be restructuring things slightly, especially with kind of like video content, hopefully so that it's better for you guys. I was finding that every week I was just feeling a bit panicked and I was just going week by week, essentially uploading what I could that week. Whereas I'm gonna try and hopefully, especially with the renovation content, build it up a little bit more like I used to. So for example, right now I'm working on the windows, which is why I'm having a slow morning this morning, because I am exhausted. I've been heat gunning the windows for days. And instead of you seeing a video where I just heat gun the windows, which I personally I think is a little bit boring, I'm hoping that you can just see the start to finish of videos, of videos, of windows, all in one video. So you see the before and after, you can see the transformation in one video. And also if you ever want to come back, because I get this quite often, and refer to a video, I often get messages where people are like, oh, um, I know that you did your windows, but I can't find the video. And that's probably because all of my videos are little snippets. So, wow, what a, what a start to this video. Basically, I'm gonna try and make it, I hope, so that my videos are more interesting, which also means that I'm gonna have more videos which are gonna be um, day of the life, shopping, antique shopping, homeware shopping, kind of like scattered a little bit more in between some more big renovation videos. I think it's gonna be much better for you guys. And this has actually worked out really well for me because I ache, but maybe I'll show you a little snippet of those later. I do wanna get out some wedding gifts first though because they have been sat in our hallway. Every year, around this time of the year, I get impatient with the renovating. I don't know what it is, whether it is because I'm knowing that another year is ending, like we've only got four or five months left of the year and thinking that's another year gone, or whether it's because we're coming into autumn winter, which is a time where I want to feel like cozy and comfortable in the home and our home still isn't that cozy and comfortable. But every year, around like the beginning of September, I get a little bit impatient with things and I'm feeling that right now. So today is a lot about getting stuff like that sorted. As in thinking about what I want to prioritize in the home, what I really want to finish for just like finishing sake, to do with this I kind of mean, or finishing actual like renovation projects. So very kindly, we got some lovely gifts for our wedding. We did actually set up a registry thing in the end. We told everybody they did not need to get us gifts because they came to Italy for our wedding. That was absolutely plenty enough. But so many were really, really generous and we got a little bit of money. And you guys know we were investing in this Sophie Conran crockery range. I'm not even sure what the range is called, but I collected a few of the plates and I wanted to get some nice plates in the home just so that we had some, ours are from like Ikea Uni or even before that, like lots of hand-me-downs, which has been absolutely fine. And actually I'll show you the drawer that we keep it in. We don't have space. And one thing that I've thought about, probably if you've been watching for a long time, you'll know, is putting um, a set of drawers or like a cupboard somewhere either in the living room or dining room, preferably dining room, because I think it makes more sense. Or uh, for lots of bits like this, like extra things that we're not using all the time. I'm really honest, I don't think we'll be using these bits until we have our house a little bit nicer. They'll be used for like special occasions. Anyway, we've got four more plates, a little sugar dish, pasta bowls, cereal bowls, side plates, a butter dish, and this one for gravy, which has a ladle too, or sauces. So, I wanted to get them out because I wanted them to be sat in the box, but I don't really have somewhere to put them yet. This room doesn't get seen at the moment. And this is why. But over here, 
is where I'm imagining having the drawers or the kind of like more of a larder cupboard type thing so that we can fit a lot of those things because our kitchen is small. Shut that door again. <laughs> Don't know what this looks like, but this is the only drawer we have. And it's pretty sad, isn't it? It's absolutely fine for the two of us. It's plenty enough space for the two of us but we don't have any other storage apart from that obviously you've got like our cutlery which is like really jammed in in here and most of our other cupboards are full this one actually filled up really quickly because we put the microwave here which doesn't even work because we don't have a socket behind it we need to get electrogen in but what i may do is move some of these vases today so that i can fit more of it here you can see we've also got the cake stand and the plates here, this is where I was keeping them. Here would make sense for now. Whether I can jiggle that on and off or not, I don't know. And talking about vases in my collection, I have added two gorgeous Dartington vases. Growing up in Devon, my mum had a lot of Dartington and it is such good quality. The, this vase is super weighty, you can see there at the bottom. And I love this effect. I actually didn't need a vase. It was a little bit taller with um, a wider rim she says and then this one which they call their tulip vase how gorgeous is that i just love this rim on the top there yeah the tulip vase ah. so i need to also find a home for those bit of a swap around now the big vases fit I've got some like vase storage down here too and this one is empty for a little something so as I go around today I can find something to pop into there not sure I said earlier but we picked all of this up in Clark's village um, which is near street so if you're local or even like passing by down to Cornwall it's an outlet center and to be honest there's not a lot there that I would shop for apart from maybe some homeware things but they have um, the Sophie Conran and all of it at the moment is an additional 20% off so it worked out way cheaper than anywhere online Oh, but it's not at its prime, but <laughs> won't waste it. What we've made in marketing is when we've tried to do something which is on the edge or which is controversial, which needs explaining. So if you look at the thing in its totality, then it's... We could definitely do with utilising this better, it all fits up there, but I think we could do with smaller shelves, so we could have an additional shelf there, or potentially just move this one up a bit because the gaps are too much for the items that are there. It's a little bit of wasted space, and annoyingly, I did just look again to jog my memory. We've got like a little cupboard in here, so the other side of this cupboard, we have a cupboard in the downstairs bathroom, and this under here is just like totally wasted space. It's horrible, but I will show you. Let's let me put my phone down. I feel like it's huge and it would be amazing to be able to use that space for something, but I'm not quite sure how. Obviously in here it'd be impossible. You'd have to use it in the room next door, the bathroom. So we basically got this cupboard in here and then we've got the radiator where you would get the storage. But I just feel like, oh, it'd be nice to make use of that space. I love these days. This is what I love doing. I am having one of my guilty pleasures for lunch. This bagel here, which is the um, New York Bakery Co. Deli Bagel Everything, a New York style recipe loaded with poppy and sesame seeds, caramelized red onion and roasted garlic. So good. And I saw this the other day and I was like, really, really want to try it. 
it I've never seen it before but it seemed seriously I think you can call the seriously brand I don't know but the spreadable cheese so good I feel like 80% of my life is just admin. Before lunch, I was getting on with some emails, but I was also looking at the double glazing for our new windows. Just looking at this that I bought. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of clever, but so much stuff comes into this house. It's like, oh, I mean, I don't even know what you'd call it. It holds a bin open for you. Kind of clever, I know. But just another thing in our house, where was I? Yeah, also looking at our lighting plan because we need to get that finalized and the materials for this hallway, which is my next little job. I need to go in the ad. Didn't bring any shoes up though, so that was a bit silly. Can't find our loft stick, so. Ooh, improvising. Also just spoke with somebody who I hope can help us do this attic. Just found the second heat gun. I have no idea why that's up here, but we needed that for the windows. So that's a positive. And I don't see what oh they're behind me. This is what I'm looking for. Spindles. So these are in bags and they've all been dipped way back when, probably about two years ago, we wanted to get rid of all the lead paint in the house, which actually I think we're like pretty successfully nearly there now, maybe 90% there. And getting things dipped really helped. So we've got a ton of them all in different bags, different areas from the house. So it might say like top of the stairs, first little section type thing. So we'll have some kind of idea of the position that they go back into. Hopefully, that's gonna be a job. And I changed into something way more practical. Oh no, even worse, it just says group four. How are we gonna know what that is? Nine spindles, so that might be able to help because we can count each section. Our door is sticking again at the moment and the poor guy who just dropped off this parcel a bit of trim came off of our door as i opened it and he apologized like three times i was like no it's just our house but this is actually really exciting so this is a brand called manuhurist and they are the first led nail polish i think they call it green green flash and so we have a little light with LED and it's all plant based and it's meant to be way better for your nails so I've got those pink colours I have got my nails painted at the moment but I don't know if you can tell they're really bad right now because I was having the Biab buildable gel on them this one isn't so great so I might give this a go tonight and one thing that does ruin your nails is using acetone in the nail polish remover and this doesn't have it so yeah, I'm excited to try that. Now that we're done with the wedding, I'm going all natural again. I'm not going to dye my hair. I'm going to chop it soon. Um, yeah, I just want to be leaving my body au natural. More because I'm lazy. And I was totally optimistic as to where I last left this shed. <laughs> oh, not funny. Um, we got the new shelving in. As you can see, we've now got full shelves down this side and behind here, full shelves down this side. But unfortunately, this still needs to be shuffled around. You can see our windows that I have in stripping back here. They're looking pretty much done. They just need some um, paint stripper put on them for the final go rather than the heat gun. 
I think I'm gonna, I think it's a bit hot in here to be doing this today. This shed gets boiling. I have just opened the door and the door itself is scorching, which might help, but I washed my hair this morning <laughs> and kinda don't wanna get hot and sweaty today and I already am just being in here for like a few seconds. But I plan on this not being here and being putting a backdrop on this back wall and down here so that I can spray paint because we did put electricity in here. So I can plug the spray, spray gun in here now. One thing I do need to do, probably a more of a priority though, is measure our glass for our windows to get those quotes in because we need to order that probably ASAP because I think the lead time is looking like it's three to four weeks. That's what most companies are coming back with which is fine, it will mean that our windows will probably be out for about at least, maybe two months, <laughs> two months in total. I'll come back to you later, maybe when it's cooled down. Not just for renovating, but for life the new year. Get yourself one of these um, Collins Cold Plan calendars. I think they're called like desktop calendars. I like the big size ones and I get these little sticky pad notes um, so that I can put things on them and move them around. And it is amazing if you're renovating. Obviously I've already thought of one here. Decorating for Christmas. I got it penciled in for November. Um, I won't show you the one that we have currently for this month because it's got some work stuff on it for me, but we love to be able to physically see things and to be able to move them. So for example, if a builder says like, oh, I can come in then, and then he says he can't, or you can just move it straight over. We often do write things down too, but yeah, love this. We both keep it in here and look at it basically every day. And we stopped doing it for a little while whilst we did the wedding and it made such a difference. I had no idea what was going on, what we were prioritizing with the renovations or our life. I mean, reno work. I mean, our life is just about renovations. <laughs> well I just went down a hole after sending off the double glazing quotes. I then started looking at gas fires because I was thinking do we get a gas fire for the bedroom? We had thought about reinstalling a fire that we could actually use. We don't want it to be like a wood burning one because it's just logistically a bit of a mess for a bedroom. So much high maintenance. Electric would be too expensive so gas was our only option. I think after having a look, we might have to, I don't know whether it's possible, we'll have to ask our plumber whether he can put a gas line in and how much that will cost to potentially use it in the future. Because the gas one that I like is actually quite modern. It's about 4,000. So it's just not a priority right now. There's a lot of other things that I want to do in the house for that money. Can get like a log burning stove one from another company for about one five, so I'll talk to Ollie about that later. Anyway, did a lot of research about that. Then I looked at units for the dining room, which is a bit useless. I found this one, I thought it was quite nice. It's solid oak, but if I get it in the house right now, I've got nowhere to really put it unless we like shuffle the bath along and make that room even more jam-packed, which might be worth it if, yeah. That one I think maybe I'm gonna show all when he gets home. And by the time I did that, it was like end of day emails. So I've done my end of day emails. And now I really need to get the previous, was it the previous video or the one before? It was Ollie's birthday. And <laughs> I really randomly left it, I'm really sorry, saying that I would show you the present that he got, but it was actually out of stock. So the suspense, he wanted a scooter, an electric scooter for his birthday to go back and forth to work. And I'm just not that keen on them, if I'm really honest. They're not legal in the UK, so for me it's a bit like, oh, should you be doing that? And number two, I told him if he did get one, he absolutely had to wear a helmet, which is why I had bought him a helmet. And the cufflinks comment was just because I had said on the tag, like, something like wrapping him up on Cornwall and keeping him at home, because the reason why I don't want him getting a scooter is because they're so dangerous. Why did I start talking about that? Anyway, he's ordered it and it should be coming. I think it's coming, could have come today, but I think it's gonna be coming tomorrow. Oh, I think it's because now I need to send those helmets back because they were too big. I need to return them and I also need to return my wedding shoes because they are fixing those for me and I should have sent them back weeks ago. Our printer's in the cupboard here and it's so handy.
Earl's home and he's straight to cleaning out the Hoover mop thing. I did actually put some um, stain remover on it today. It gets a bit nasty. And we are going to be having some Mexican style roasted sweet potato salad tonight. I'm going to get going on that. That was actually <clears throat> that was actually so good. It had sweet potato, avocado, pepper, onion, um, a lime sauce, and a Mexican spice. It was so good. Two thumbs up. This Very one good. is tracking her scooter because it said that it would arrive today by six, but it is past six. So naturally, every two minutes he's checking it and saying, well, "Will it come today?" Well, I don't know. Maybe it won't come today. Well, if it said that it'll come at six, it won't, but it's still on the tracking, so maybe it is. Our conversation through dinner, basically. What are we doing now? Scraping out the bowl, because it was so <laughs> Getting desperate. Mm, so good. It, well, it actually was so good. Um, we've got shower tray to do. Yeah, round two. We're going to get it right this time. <laughs> This time we're going to um, make a little cardboard cutout for it. We've either got to go for one that our plumber has been recommending, which seems really cool. It like has a spinny circular centre where the waste can go and you can move it to position it where it needs to be. So obviously it's great for plumbers because if they just need to like manoeuvre slightly they can. But I'm really worried it's going to be really ugly. <laughs> I and mean, we might have to go for that one because we've tried a couple of times and I feel like if the plumber turns up again and the, the tray still doesn't fit, then he won't be mean to us, but... I'll He's been nice to us so far. He's been yeah, very nice. <laughs> it's been very accommodating considering. So this one, unfortunately, from what I understand, is a right old, it's like the, the waste is like right in the middle. Like it's not at the top of the tray, it's in the middle of the tray, which is why I'm not keen on it. It's like off center, but it is basically center. So, so it it will just sit very randomly. So, like, imagine if you have a rectangle and like a middle waist, it'll be like off to the side because it can't be in the middle. It'll have to like spin. So, I found some trays which have some corner waist, and I'm oh, got my fingers crossed that they're gonna work. <laughs> so I've got to get some cardboard, have I? Yeah, I saw that cardboard today, and it smushed in the rain because we left it outside. The bit's outside but there's some in the stairway. Oh, amazing. Should I go get that then? Yeah. Okay. That'll be our... You keep an eye on the door then. <laughs> That'll be our job for tonight and also doing our thank you cards for the wedding which I'm going to move into the snug so that we do them. And this is what we went for in the end. Just a really simple thank you card from Papier. It meant that we didn't have to design them. So I've got a card here to remember. And let's move them in. I've also got my nail stuff here. I think I'm being a bit ambitious for one night. He's got the goods. Also, yes, the weeds just came back. <laughs> if only this is how a shower tray actually works. Can just cut it out with some cardboard and uh, place it down. Well, I hate to tell you, but the MP1 isn't going to work. The MP1 not necessarily isn't going to work. I think I was <laughs> dangerous. Looks kind of hilarious. <laughs> so we actually have to flip them around. So that one is so currently where it would be. That and that one would works. Work. That's fine. So that's the thermo panel. Good. Does the MP1 work? Does the MP1 work? Um, so the MP1 would work if we took a little bit out of this. The MP1 doesn't work. So that might actually work better for Jack. That actually might be the best one, yeah. Because th that's already there, ready to go. Well, he can move that pipe no matter what, but it does mean we don't, have, doesn't to, have, to go through a joist, we don't have to notch anything out. No. Well, maybe we just go for that because either way we want... That's also the one that is like 
most to the corner, isn't it? We want one that we're not stood on the whole time. Yeah. It was cold outside, so I put a blanket around me. So, uh, are we picking an offset one? We are picking a wet room shower tray quadra. Yay! That relates to some kind of tab. I hope you've still got all the information. Yay! Can we just put it down and double, 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 double check? Double, 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 double check. The, the sink's going to come out all the way to here. Yeah, the sink's so going to be So it'll be a little bit hidden. So when you look in the when room, look, it might actually it. be quite hidden because oh, yeah. the, hopefully the unit here will kind of hide it off a little bit as much as possible. Me and Jack has less work to do, which I'm happy about. I actually think that one's going to be less work than the MP. The only thing is, now we need to have a look at that one and see if it's self-supporting. And if it isn't, we need to infill. Which will be fine. Like yeah. that, that isn't that hard of work. Nope. Why didn't we find this one originally? We looked for ages and we couldn't find any others. <laughs> because you ordered it. <laughs> because no, I because you, I was doing were, the wedding. You were looking at shower trays as well some of the time. I kind of was like, Ollie, you can deal with a shower tray and um fluffed it up. It went really well, didn't it? <laughs> shower tray ordered. Let's hope this one works. It is now. It's quarter, it's 20 past eight. 20 past eight, oh. Okay. Where does the day go? Um, I'm desperate to take my makeup off, so I'm gonna take my makeup off. Then we're gonna do some thank you cards. Oh, I got a smile out of that. When the camera goes off, he'll be like, oh, do I have to? Um, and then I might try and do my nails. I'm quite tired. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think this is a good time to write thank you cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good it's not a good time no if any of our wedding guests are watching this is what they get to you six months after the wedding oh. best viewing in the world is putting this on our um, our drain is gurgling that can't be a good sign It's quite dark right now. It's a bit cloudy as well, though. Yeah. Is it? No, is it I don't just know. dark? Well, winter's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go write your thank you cards. I do really want to write the thank you cards <laughs> because I'm very thankful. I don't, I don't feel like the, tonight's the night. Tonight's not it. the night, okay. <laughs> Job we keep our handy extension cable in our <laughs> microwave. I did actually say earlier that the microwave doesn't have a socket behind it, yeah. so that does actually make sense to you guys right now. The last two times I did my nails, well, my toenails for the wedding, we had about 10 minutes to get ready for the welcome meal, and so I just did the three toenails that you could see outside of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> left my two little toes on each foot and I was so hectic that night and the wedding morning that I didn't change them for my wedding <laughs> so I have been walking around with just three toes painted on each foot for the last few months and then we went to our friend's 30th in Eastbourne this weekend and I was like yeah I can't turn up to the beach looking like that so I did them in the car which probably was even worse Escape room was good in the end. I enjoyed it. Nails. Control room. Control. Oh no. Control room. Nails. I love the colour, but I think I could have done a bit better first attempt. And that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.